welcome my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I'm bringing you a makeup collection video specifically my colored eyeliners I have a bit of an eyeliner problem I have a lot of them mostly colourpop but I saw Betty Jean's or Pute Beans a video on her colourful eyeliners and I was like I want to go through all mine too and show you guys them all NYX and Colourpop make up the majority of my collection Let's though kick it off with the odd random ones I have from like where I just have one from each brand. I have uh, 33 colorful eyeliners. Well, some aren't always colorful. So these are just ones that I have of one that single brand. Just I only like this one color they had. So I've got Bella Paris Midnight Blue. And I'm like, we've got to fit quite a few colors on. There it is. That was really hard to do. We've got Flower Beauty. I keep meaning to try and use this one and I don't. I don't think I've ever used the Bella Brie one. The Bella Brie one? I don't remember using it. But this is Purple Quartz from Flower Beauty. I like It's beautiful. It's creamy. It's there. I need to use it. But I just I haven't I haven't done an eye look that I've been like, yes, I love it. My Marc Jacobs in Sunset. I've used this a lot. It's just a beautiful sort of everyday kind of colour. Compliments pretty much any look you ever do. I've got Models Prefer in two maybe. I've used this a few times. I do quite like it. And it's one of a beautiful shimmery green. Uh, creamy. Easy to go on. Maybe I need some more of these. I feel like they don't have an exciting range. I've got Morphe in Pool Party. This is my only one that's a pencil. Let's see a pencil. Uh, I've tried it and it just it didn't travel on very well. But it does swatch beautifully. And it, it's nice. I've got this brand Manhattan. I bought this I think in Berlin maybe yeah made in Germany this is aqua sparkle I don't know if I've used it yet I could have put it with the look today there's a beautiful blue as you can tell blue is my favorite color I've got Australis this is one of those Australian brands this is hello sailor I've used this I don't think I've had much luck with it it's also a pencil I didn't realize I had it looks nice but it's just quite hard to get on so it you know urban decay freak I love this one. This is one of my all time favorite liners. If you have, if you want one liner to rule them all, Freak from Evan Decay. Oh my God, I love this shade. I do also have Overdrive. So this is uh, from the Born to Run collection. It's quite a nice foresty green. It's beautiful, I, I'm a fan. They're, those two formulas are my favorite. I've also got Evan Decay Asphyxia. I believe this is now discontinued. But if you remember, it was a bit of a thing on my channel because I swatched it and then I found out it might be getting discontinued and then I finally found it and it was like a whole thing. But here it is swatched and it's just beautiful. I've had not, I haven't had much luck getting it to show up like that on my eye though. When I put it on, it just, it looks, I don't know. It just, it isn't, it isn't as bang as this beautiful pebble. It, it's hard to explain, but it doesn't, it just doesn't, it's not that good. I need to play with it more. I wonder if I should do that, like that Nikki Tutorials trick of getting the fire, warming it up. All right, so we've got some Kiko, and this is the Kiko Milano. I've got two from them. This is number 11. I bought these when I was in Amsterdam. This is a nice dark sort of khaki green. I haven't had much luck with these showing up in the waterline either. I am more of a waterline, waterline person. I'm not so much of putting the pencil underneath my eye or using them to do wings. I like them for the waterline. The waterline, I think, is like one of my favorite parts of makeup. Uh, this is number two. This is a nice shimmery bronze. Probably a bit comparison to that sunset shade from Marc Jacobs, which is this fellow down here. A little bit lighter. It's, you know, it's nice. I like it. But yeah, I haven't been able to get them to show up nicely in the waterline like the color ones and the next ones do. This is from Kylie Cosmetics and it is called, is it just bronze? Bronze. I feel like I need to use this one more. I haven't actually given it much of a shot. What is that one there? And this is Kylie Chameleon. I just actually gave away, I had this in, I think I must have had the eyeliner set. I just gave the gel pot away to my cousins because I was never getting around to using it. It's such a boring color. But it's pretty, it's nice, you know, I can't complain. Let's move into my next collection. So I have uh, 10 Colourpop and 9 NYX ones, but I've got maybe 3 Colourpop ones coming. So, you know. 
we'll get there. So the NYX, the reason NYX wasn't a big part of my collection for a while, but when I was in Germany, I found the NYX store and I found the faux whites and I am in love with them. You need to go check them out. But I also picked up some other ones and I've just got some other random colors that I've liked along my time of swatching NYX. So we'll start with the ones that uh, I'm not as into, but you know, they're still nice. So this is my NYX Deep Blue. Yeah. These just don't have that same level of cream. So we've started afresh. But I do love that the packaging is the correct colour. But Colourpop have just done that, so I can't complain. This is NYX. Ooh. What shade is this? Golden Olive. Sorry. It took me so long. Uh, this is Golden Olive. Uh, look at that. That is a beautiful shade. I love it. I need to incorporate that in a look someday. I've got... Let's start now. We're nearly into the faux range. <laughs> this is uh, NYX Off Tropic Liner. This is from one of their new releases that they had. And this is No Shade. And look how, look at this funky packaging. I'm I'm into it. I love being able to see the actual pencil and see the winding mechanism. It just adds a little bit something extra. Beautiful. All right, so I've got, now we're moving into the faux line. I've only got one of the faux blacks and it is Midnight. That is because it was really hard to get this collection in Australia. And I bought a few when I was overseas. I didn't realize I was going to love the formula this much. So I didn't buy them all. And then I went in that Priceline had, I think, 50% off at NYX. Uh, that I went into store. They don't have the faux whites or the faux blacks in store. Sorry, this was the, the faux black here. And then I found them online. So I ordered all the ones that they had available. But this, they're just a beautiful range of liners. You need to try them. This is linen, which is like a, a pinky. Oh, I think I counted wrong. I have eight NYX and 11 Colourpop. One of my Colourpop ones are in the NYX line. So NYX, I have a vanilla. And this is like a creamy yellow. But these just go on beautifully. I think the pastel complements pretty much any look. This is mint green. Was it mint cream? Mint cream. And it is just beautiful. It matches, like it goes really well with the green look. I love it. And I have seashell to finish up. Do I have two seashells? No. Okay, so seashell is a bit pinker than linen. But they look quite similar now that I see them there. So there is meant to be like a slight difference in shade, but it's nothing too... Drastic and sorry I played with the lighting. It looks different on, but I think they would probably look quite similar. Anyway, sorry, I'm gonna stop complaining or staring at them. And then let's move into the carpet ones. I have ordered some of the new range. I delayed it because well I have so many of the old. I didn't want to buy the full collection because, well, I have so many already. Uh it would be like, do I throw these all out? Do I keep them all? I don't know. It was just too hard for me to decide. So this is Honey Dude, which is a nice, beautiful, creamy shade. Can you even see it? I think it's pretty much my skin color. Yeah. Um, I really like, like, and I just love the Colourpop liner formula. I have got a, I have ordered a double up of one of the shades I have here, which is Prance. And that's because Prance is the worst formula. Here I have Piggy Bank. Look at that beautiful purple. I've got Kicker, which is a nice silver. And for me, I just, I love having options for the waterline. It just, it makes me so happy. I've got Crybaby. Ooh. Maybe this is that lavender that Butte Bean wanted. I think it is. I think she had it. I don't know. Crybaby. This is Puppy. Which is like a nice creamy orange. We've got punch which is a beautiful yellow and it just it really does give you a nice punch in that waterline these all go on beautifully i'm obsessed with all of them this is exit from colourpop which is their white i've just started a new row and then i have dirty talk which is a nice shimmery gold very nice very beautiful and we are nearing the end i have boots 
and I also love this one. I really, I love pretty much all my liners, except for the ones I've sort of mentioned I've had a few problems with. This here is Prance. I need to have to double check. But I know that because it just is always like on its way out. So I've ordered a new one. I'm saving this one so that I can compare them. But Prance, Prance, for a blue lover, Prance is the color. I love it. I need more. And my final, final, lucky but last, not least, is Teaspoon. And Teaspoon is such a happy little fella. I've had so much fun using him in some looks. He really is just beautiful. Um, I'll leave this up so I can get a picture. Yeah. So that is all my colorful liners. If you see a gap in my collection, um, let me know. I definitely am always just like on the hunt for liners. I feel like NYX and ColourPop have some of the best formulas. Urban Decay is a bit hit and miss, but they're pretty good. Marc Jacobs is bomb. Like, it's bomb diggity. And they are worth dollars, but, you know, you want one that you're going to use a lot. Um, and I really do need to use that Flower Beauty one, because I know they've got some nice colours in their range. And I need to know if I like them or not. Anyway, that is my colourful liners. Let me know if this is something you'd like to see from me. My collection is uh, a little bit ridiculous sometimes. We will do a palette collection video soon, but uh, I'm gonna hold off for a little bit. But I, I do have a lot of bronzes, I do have a lot of highlighters, I can get through a lot of different things. So let me know if there's something you're interested in. I just, I, I really, to be honest, I kind of needed um, to have all my eyeliners swatched so that I remembered what colors I have and stopped buying the same shades. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah!